Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more Bloons TD4. Last time we completed Monkeys vs. Bloons and this time we're going to be doing Moby Dick or Moabi Dick, Normal and Hard Mode. Here we go. Now, Moby Dick is generally the easiest track out of all five of them for Bloons Tower Defense for Bloons TD4. I should be calling it Bloons TD4 because again, that whole thing now. Um, you can actually put Monkey Buccaneers and I find that really hilarious. Because there's water everywhere, yet you can't put Monkey Buccaneers. The strategy here in the beginning is pretty simple. You want to begin by just putting Monkey uh, monkey Towers pretty much everywhere in, everywhere next to the main track in the beginning as what I'm doing right now. There's a random monkey at the top and it's kind of funny. He's just up there floating or swimming, whatever. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, you cannot put Monkey, monkey Buccaneers anywhere. For some reason, for some damn reason, you can't do that. I don't understand why they're doing that, but yeah. Also, uh, getting banana farms early on is pretty helpful. But yeah, this one is pretty easy, like I said. M Moby Dick is regarded as one of the easiest extreme maps out of all the five. The other ones that could be easier would probably be maybe Bloon Raker, which is the next one, and... Actually, that's it, because then Jolly Roger and... 1.21 Gigapops are somewhat hard, or, or, or you know, the harder ones. And then Monkeys vs. Balloons is the hardest of the five. But yeah, again, just Monkey Tower, that's what I'm doing, just monkeys. That's pretty much the strategy in the beginning on this one. As you can see, they're kind of close to leaking through. Then I'm going to get a boomerang and put him in the very beginning. And, actually, no, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to get a glue. Better strategy would probably be to get some glue. Glue them. Remember, glue gunners are almost worthless, useless, if you don't give them the second upgrade. You need to be able to make sure that the glue passes through all layers of balloons. Now to what I'm going to do. Already at round 10. That's not bad at all. Not bad. So, really don't know. Let me see. After this round, I believe the good thing to do would be to... Um... Actually, what, what would be the good thing? I'm still thinking here of what the hell I should do. Could upgrade that. Banana plantation. Eh, I don't know. You know what? You know what? Um. Ugh. It's better to get a cannon. Yeah, I need, I need a cannon. Give me some more defense, you know? Some more protection against these balloons. I kind of need that. Instead of the other stuff. Okay. Missile launchers are, of course, amazing, as you already know. They can blast through so many things at a very high fire rate. And now, there is one trick to this map that works really well. And once you have enough for a super monkey, you want to have perfect perfect placement on it. Perfect placement. Although, my first super monkey will probably not be in the perfect placement spot because I need one a bit closer to the spawn point first. But you'll see what I mean by perfect placement of a super monkey. It's very important. I'm going to go in and get a monkey beacon. And improve it. I have to improve it all the way to sonar because I have to attack the camel balloons, of course. So it's pretty important to, to be doing that. So i got to improve its range and its other stuff. But first off, I could actually... Um, let me think here. I think it's a good idea to... Well, I could do several things, but I'm going to... Uh, upgrade that. I'll give you jungle drums too, I mean, I mean, you might need that, but I do need the sonar beacon, because again, I have to make sure that these towers pop all of the camo blooms, which will be appearing soon. So, got enough of that, there we go, sonar beacon. Now I don't have to, now I don't have to worry about the, um, you know, those random camo blooms that come out of nowhere and just start trying to own you, you know? Okay, let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, damn it, I leaked some. That's four leaked. I mean, two leaked. Sorry. No, wait. That was, that was four leaked. What the hell am I talking about? It's two blues, and then they each have two reds. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so... Getting more monkeys, of course. That's the... Again, that's the whole strategy of here. Just getting more monkeys. And... Just been using one glue gunner, one missile launcher, and a bunch of monkeys. Oh, and one monkey beacon, too. So now it is time to get some more cannons in the beginning. As always, you want to get cannons in the beginning because they, of course, are able to deal with the Moabs that come and the BFBs. 
you want to be able to defeat those things really quick. Okay, round 25 is done. Beginning round 26 now. Pretty easy stuff, right? I'm telling you, this one is pretty easy. The main reason why this extreme map is really easy compared to the other ones is because there's only one spawn point and one exit point. That's it. So you can focus, I mean, you have to focus your entire army of towers in that one spot. That's it. Yes, it is rather short, which is of course why it's not a beginner or an intermediate, but I see it more of an advanced or expert, you know? It's one track. It's really short, that's what makes it hard, but it's one track, which is why it's nowhere near as hard as the other extreme ones. Okay, another cannon right here. Now we have four cannons, and I'm going to be upgrading you to a missile launcher fairly soon, once I have enough points, that is. What else is there to say? Nothing much. I mean, I know I should be talking more and constantly, but I don't know. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. We're just owning all the blooms here right now. I mean, we really are, so... There's no problem right now. No problem at all. Obviously get you to Missile Launcher. That's the main priority that I was trying to get. And should I just get more of those? No, I'll just get Banana Plantation, finally. Banana Plantation. I should be getting some more of these, though. Some more Banana Farms. There we go. And trying to upgrade you very soon, as soon as I can. I will get you your next upgrade that you so deserve. Well, actually, um, I don't think I should. Or, wait, 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 wait. Next up is, uh, I, actually, I'll just give you that. I, I wasted points, though, because I could have done the first upgrade during the round and gotten some more bonus cash, but I hesitated. Anyways, here is the camo balloon round, so, yeah, that one's pretty simple, you know? Um, I'm going to get a cannon. I was going to get another banana farm, but I'm deciding for a cannon instead because it is overall better to do that. I think it, you know, it helps me a bit. It makes me feel a bit more confident, let's just say that. Because now I have some more defense. Alright, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. 1300 points to make another banana farm. That is our third and most likely not final banana farm. Because we still have plenty of stuff we can do. Anyways, how much time are we at? Let me check. Um, okay. Still got some time. Plenty of time. I mean, usually I make it to round 45 through 50 in the first part of any of these tracks. And then the second one is just, you know, usually a bit shorter because I go from 50 to 75, which... Those 25 rounds, they take nowhere near as long as the first 50 rounds, you know? I, I know I should have done a better job splitting all these tracks, but the thing is, I always wanted to get to at least the first Moab in the first part. That's kind of why. So, minimum round 46, and then usually I got carried away and did a few more rounds after that, and that's pretty much why that happened, you know? Why I always... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry if there was a little bit of shaking sound there. I was moving my microphone. It seems a bit weird at an awkward angle. Hopefully that... Hopefully it's all good. Okay, now I have 10 of these things. And then again, I'm preparing for the uh, Moabs on round 46, which is approaching fairly soon. You know, just like five more rounds and then it'll be here. I'm getting a lot of points from this. A lot of points. So let's see what I'm going to do now. Look at this. Oh my god. 5,000 points. Super monkey time, of course. Okay, this is not the ideal spot, the quote, perfect spot for a super monkey, but I'm getting one here close because I kind of want to, uh, I just want to feel safe. I want to get a super monkey very close to the beginning, that way he can pop the balloons as soon as they spawn. There you go, give you the laser vision. Alright, looking pretty good. Look at that sewer monkey, he's like, oh, oh, just moving back and forth, like, oh, 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 see that? This looks funny. Okay, fourth banana farm. And there are sirens in the background, you can probably hear those sirens quite easily, sorry about that. I'm telling you, there are sirens every single time, almost every single video I record. 
sirens get picked up for some reason. There are so many sirens here. And no, we're not in a high crime city. No, we are in Lakewood, California. A place that is very, very peaceful and calm. And the citizens of here, they are very nice people. I kind of just said the word nice twice, so I didn't really mean to repeat myself. But, oh well. Anyways, um, time to get another super. Actually, you know what? I should be getting a, another super monkey over there. Trying to get in the perfect, because this is not the perfect spot that I was talking about. The perfect spot is an area more up so up there. But right now I have to get Moabs. I mean Moab Maulers, not Moabs. No, 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 not Moabs. Get Moab Maulers. Gotta improve them all to Moab Maulers. There we go. And whoa, Moab Mauler. And just one more to upgrade to a Moab Mauler, and then we will have 10. 10 Moab Maulers from the very start. That is not bad at all. And from the very, from the very start, I mean the very first Moab round. There we go, we got 10 of them. What can I use this for now? This, um... Hmm. Well, nothing to say here. As you already know, round 45 is that very infamous long round. That long round right before the first Moab, they just... They're doing that on purpose and trolling you because, you know, you're like, you're anticipated to kill the Moab. There we go, that was easy. You're anticipated to kill the Moab, but they just troll you with this really long round. It's like, hurry the hell up. I want to already fight this Moab to see how I'll do against it, you know? And, yeah. Plasma Vision. Okay, now that we have two Super Monkeys, I believe it is time for a third and maybe final Super Monkey. I don't know, we'll see. We will see. Simple stuff, really. Simple stuff. Again, not much to say here. Gotta drink some water here. Uh, that's the stuff. <laughs> Sorry about that. I usually don't drink water during recordings. But my throat was just feeling a bit, a bit dry, you know. I needed to take a quick drink. Okay, now let's see. Time to get a third Super Monkey right up here in this perfect spot. This is the perfect spot that I'm talking about. Put a Super Monkey around right here, and you will see amazing results. You will see amazing results. I mean, we're not really upgraded yet, which is... Okay, you know what? We have to end the end the part. You will see what I mean by the Super Monkey by, and this perfect placement in the next video. So, yeah, time to end this. Yeah, all done here. So... Next time we're going to continue with this. Goodbye everybody and until next time.